This video is for lay leaders and it's to show you how you can communicate a little bit better with your class or your organization. I'm logged on as Michael. He's a lay leader. He's a teacher. We're going to go to his organization and we've shown you previously there's several ways to get there. It's going to be listed under my involvement because he's enrolled. If he goes to organizations, it will be his recent. Actually, if he goes to organization search and manage, he will see several organizations, but he will not be able to click on any of them and get to the organization itself, except for the one where he's a leader. Now that we're on the organization, one of the most common things people want to do is to get a directory. Everybody wants to have phone numbers and uh, email addresses for uh, and birthdays for everybody in their class. The directory is under the blue toolbar, and we showed you that in a previous video. What I want to show you now is how you can send that to everyone. Not all of your members, obviously, will be lay leaders, so they won't be able to access this. I'm just going to select the compact directory. And this is what it looks like. It's a nice uh, little directory that people can fold up, stick in their Bible, have it with them whenever. And I'm going to save it, but I'm going up here to Word, and I'm going to save as. I want to save it as a PDF. And so this is going to be the Bass Class Directory. That's his last name. And I'm going to save it on the desktop, save it as a PDF. Now I'm going to click Save. I save it as a PDF because many people do not have Word, and it by default will open in Word. So now that I have the directory and I've saved it, how do I get it to my class members? Obviously I could print it and take it to them, but it's much better if you just email it. And if they want to print it, they can. If they want to save it on their device, they can do that. I'm going to email everyone, that's individuals, and I'm going to select a template. Uh, again, if you have a template that's made for your division, your particular area, uh, like adult ministry or children's ministry, use a template uh, like that and they can easily recognize uh, that it's coming from the church and from the ministry that they're involved in. So I'm going to put class directory as the subject. Notice you've got that it's going to 42 people. You can kind of uh, scroll through and see everyone that's going to receive it. It's coming from Michael who's logged in. Click here to edit content, and I'll always put first, just so that has their first name there. And then I'm going to put some text to let them know they can click to uh, create the directory, or to actually uh, download that directory. I have the text here. It says, click here for our class directory. Hope to see you Sunday. Now, here's the magic right here. You double click to highlight the word where you want them to click. That's going to become a link. You go up into the toolbar and look for the plain link. The golden link is different. It's for inserting special links. You want just the plain link. Click on that and it opens this little dialog box. Click Upload. You need to upload what's on your computer to a location where they can access it. They can't access it from your computer. So you choose the file and it's on my desktop and it is the Bass class directory that's a PDF. Notice it puts the name there. You're not finished yet. Send it to the server. That's putting it up there on our servers so that your class members can access it. So there it is. Click the green OK button. And now that's a link. I'm going to click Save. Well, let's do one more thing. You might want to put uh, an image in there. Let me just show you how to do that right now. Uh, let's see. I'm going to put don't forget to bring breakfast items for our fellowship. All right. I might want to put some little image there. So I'm just going to put my cursor right there. This is where I want the image. If you want to put an image, click this in the toolbar. See right there when I hover, it says image. It looks like a little picture, kind of like a sun and the mountains. Click image and again you need to upload it. So I want to find the image that I would like to upload and I have a little reminder image right here on my desktop. There it is. I 
click open. Again, just like uploading the link, you want to send it to the server. And there it is. If you want this to be a little bit smaller, you notice that lock is there. I can, it will adjust the, when I change the height or the width, it will adjust the other. So if I want to put it down to 95, click OK. And there it is. So there's a little reminder image. I've got the link for the class directory. I click Save. So there's my email. I think I should see what it looks like by sending a test to myself. So I'm going to do that. All right, it says it was sent. So let me go look for that email. All right, I received the email. Notice there are no images, but look in the yellow. To protect your privacy, pictures have not been downloaded. You always want picture, people to download the pictures. That's how that little track link works. If they download the pictures, then it counts as them opening it, so you'll know who's opened it. So I see my image is there. It looks okay to me. Let's see if the link works. Yes, there's the PDF, and it knows I can save it. I can print it, uh, do whatever I want to with it. But a PDF is something anybody can open. So that's successful. Now I can click Send, and it'll go to everyone in the class. That's how easy it is for you to send that directory so that everyone has uh, the emails and phone numbers and date of birth of everybody in your class. Also, because you didn't have to print it, if you find out that everybody gets the directory and you have a number of changes, it's so simple just to generate the directory again and email it to them again and say this is a revised version. Because you're not printing it, it doesn't cost anything. You're just generating that uh, PDF. I want to show you one more thing about organizations. And let's go back to this tab right here. There's the couples class. If you have subgroups, you may want to filter for just one subgroup and email them. Here's your subgroup filter. Notice these little lines right here. I can drag this and make it big because you can filter for multiple groups. If it's small, you may not see them all. If I want the Hayes group, notice I click once and it's put uh, in the box. And the Johnson group, maybe they're going to have a uh, social together. You can do that. If you add one more, notice how it goes away. You can't see it all. You just need to spread it out. Now I've got three groups in there. <clears throat> and you can email those. You can clear that back. You just want the Johnson group. Now, I'm still seeing 43 people. I've got the Johnson group here, <clears throat> but I have not clicked filter. When I click filter, I see only those 11 people that are in that group. So now you can send an email. You can print a report. Maybe you just want to send them a directory of everybody that's in their subgroup. You could print a picture directory. And you could do the same thing for it as you did the others uh, for the compact directory. You can save it as a PDF and send it just to your subgroup. And it'll have just those 11 people in the directory. Maybe you want to print some other kind of report. Anything you do from the toolbar will only have these 11 people in it when you're filtering. So remember that. That's how a group leader can keep up with their own group. They can just filter for their own group and then email them. Maybe they're having a social for just their group. So these are just some tools that will help you communicate with your class and help them communicate with each other by sending them those uh, one of those directories that we have created for you. Remember, those are all under the toolbar. I hope you find this helpful.